Hey you guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks and thanks for watching another tutorial on the Cozy Clicks YouTube channel. Today I want to show you a simple trick for checking to make sure that your whites are really white if you're working on a picture that has maybe a white backdrop or a lot of snow in it like this one here. I know it's almost winter so there's going to be a lot of snowy pictures to be edited soon. But before I show you this really cool trick, let me know you're here. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me hi. Let me know where you're at. I always love to connect with you guys and I always look through the comments too and try to respond to as many as I can. So let me know you're here. Let me know you're watching. All right, I have this photo right here that I'm working on that has a snowy background and it's kind of difficult to see how white the whites are. And I know I don't want the whole background completely white, but I want the majority of it to have a really white snowy feel. It's hard to do that in this interface here, but there's one simple thing that you can do to really double check that. Now you'll see my background right now is set to black or dark gray. I'm going to have you just take your cursor and click somewhere in that dark area and you'll see there's several different choices for you to choose from black, dark gray, medium day gray, light gray, or custom. Or you can select the, select the custom color. Now I already have my custom set to white. If you don't, you're going to want to go to select custom color here and make sure white is selected and hit OK. Now with our background white, we can really compare that white in our photo and make adjustments based on how white we actually want it. So now when I look at this snowy picture next to the white background, it looks a lot more gray than I wanted it. So you could use several different tools inside Photoshop to change and adjust that. One I really like is selective color. So I'm going to come down to my adjustment panel, which is right here, my adjustment layers, and I'm going to choose selective color. Now from there, I'm going to make sure whites are selected and I'm just going to take out as much black as I feel like needs to come out. And I'm really going to be comparing that to the background of this photo. So I'm just going to take my black slider and I'm just going to start moving that over to the left and I can see it's already getting whiter and more to the color that I wanted it to actually be, not as gray as it looked initially. Now I don't want it completely white because I think it's going to take out some of these, you know, textures and trees in that are in the background, but I did want it much whiter. So it really helped seeing that comparison. Now if I don't want it on her and I don't, you can just click on the layer mask, grab a black soft brush, and I'm making sure it's at 100% opacity and I'm just going to brush that adjustment off of her. So she's not quite as white anymore, but the snowiness in the background is. And you could duplicate that layer if you wanted to increase the whiteness even more. Maybe if you were using a white backdrop and you wanted it very solid white, this is a great way to compare the white background to your white picture. I hope that helped you guys today and that was a fun little trick that you can try out. If you do try it out, tag me over on Instagram. I am at Cozy Clicks over there so I can see how this tutorial helped you guys out. I would so appreciate a thumbs up or a like or a subscribe from you and I will be back again with more tutorials soon. Thanks guys.